gossip. What's up, world? You're tuned into 423 FM. You already know we've got you covered with your daily dose of celebrity drama. Now let's get into it. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the 423. News has been pretty slow lately. I don't know if it's people being wholesome for the holidays or what, but have no fear. We are back again with some drama from Summer Walker and the father of her child, London on the Track. I try to pay as little attention to Summer as possible because she's, we'll call it wacky, but this obviously isn't the first time she's aired out London for supposedly being a deadbeat dad. So on Monday, December 20th, she took to Instagram to call him out, posting a series of text messages between her and London and her and London's mom. As you can see, it's a lot of Summer texting and not getting much of a reply, she repeatedly asks for photos of her daughter's room at the house and she doesn't get those, which is why she's claiming that she doesn't have her own room and says the baby is probably sleeping in a foldable chair from Target. She also sent London a photo of their daughter with a bruise on her head, saying that was the second time she's come back from his house with a bruise without any warning or explanation. So she posted this to her Instagram page and wrote, I legit hate him, bro. This man just told me he doesn't have to tell me nothing if there's something wrong with my child. And she expanded in these IG stories, writing, She's not one of your little cars or props. You can just post for clout. I wish you would just go. We don't need you. She is a real father over here. We be the ones sleep deprived taking care of her while you out doing whatever. Just go on, live your life. You don't even have to keep fake kicking it with her because I'm not cool with all that popping in, popping out BS. You leave when I'm pregnant, pop in when she's born, literally leave like a couple days after she's born, pop in when you feel like it, pop out, pop in, pop out, take your popcorn cornball head ass on somewhere. Every time I see that fake stuff, I just go into protective mode. The last time I even asked you about being involved with her and actually coming to be a part of something we were doing, you switched the topic and started asking me about credits on the album. That's disgusting, like just good, live your life. You've got to get out of jail free card, my boy. You don't need no child support or nothing, just go. I'm serious. Your intentions are not genuine toward her. Never have been. Like who flexes a baby they don't give a F about? That's weirdo activity. I'm basically leaving my child with a stranger. This is uncomfortable for me. Why neither one of them can even show me a picture of her room in Atlanta? She's eight months. You had plenty of time to get her a room. She's probably sleeping in it some cheap foldable bed you get from Target y'all placed in the corner. In another post, she went on to write, Bro on God, leave my baby alone. It's dead. I've tried everything I can to make this co-parenting shit work. You're dead ass evil. Everyone needs to see the type of ish I go through every time you get here. And she boasted a bunch of stuff with this same sentiment, also posting on her IG stories, thank God for stepfathers, I assume referring to her boyfriend Larry, whose name she got tattooed on her face recently. As this is happening, one of London's other baby mamas, Ebony, posted to her stories making fun of Summer, since she went all in defending London for supposedly being this great father when they were still dating, and before she actually had a kid with him. She wrote, Every time this girl goes talking the same story, I'm offended because, girl, you were all in my Kool-Aid when I was hollering the same thing. Your turn. Nobody feels sorry for you. And, yeah, it's all just more of the same story. All of this comes after London posted a few clips to his Instagram story the night prior, showing him spending some quality time with his daughter, buying her stuffed animals, and with her wearing this huge chain. So obviously Summer is upset that he's posting and trying to show all his fans that he's this amazing dad when she doesn't think that's actually the case. Overall, I just feel bad for this kid. I mean, clearly Summer loves the child, but she was also the same person talking about babies only needing two peas and some tree bark for a day's worth of nutrients. So I don't trust that she's properly caring for a human, but hopefully she's learned a little bit since then. I do get her frustration over London posting to social media like he's the world's best dad when she's not seeing that in real life, but girl, Instagram isn't going to do anything about that. Take him to court, get yourself full custody if you can, and deal with it legally because this is not helping your case. I also think that London's other baby mama echoes the same sentiment of most of us, like, look how stupid he looked defending this man as a father when everyone else was telling you how shitty he was 
having a baby with him and then being in that same situation, like, babes, you can't say you weren't warned. But still, Ebony still needs to find a hobby. Posting the same I told you so shade every time Summer has a breakdown doesn't make you look any better, and it doesn't make your co-parenting with London any easier either. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you think that Summer will actually do anything about her claims legally, or does she care more about blasting London on social media than actually getting full custody? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Subscribe to the 420 Thief more videos, and if you like this one, just give it a quick thumbs up. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.